Not long ago, deep in the Appalachian wilds, a group of drunken misfits joined forces to play Dungeons and Dragons. Inspired by boredom and equipped with loose morals and a questionable understanding of the rules, our heroes ventured forth to explore strange new lands. So gather up your dice, your manuals, and your livers, and join us on a quest to make absolute fools of ourselves. This is Botched, a D&D podcast, Chiefy. Previously on Botched. This contract is satisfactory. Dwarf, come with us. <laughs> Welcome back, listeners, to the 25th episode of our seventh season. Thanks so much for tuning in again. We are going to start where we left off last time, as the group has, well, this new group, anyways, has resurrected from the dead and is joined by a uh, a dwarf who looks very rattled and is very barky. <laughs> I think his soul was switched with the dogs. <laughs> this dog has no soul. Hmm. What are you guys doing? Anyway? We have that magical map. Yes, the devil gave you a magical map. I'm going to open it. Okay. Does it have a... Is it lit up where we're supposed to bring this dwarf? No. If you recall correctly, the map only tells you where you are. It doesn't give you any goals. Where does ye brother hail froms? Does it have, like, uh, little footprints with people's names underneath them? Yes. Nice. Well, no, it's mostly oh. just a, a circle <laughs> with you are here, and it blinks. Lame. It's a mall map. Mischief yeah. managed? Kind of. Yeah, it's pretty much a mischief managed map. The Marauder's map. Yeah, I'm aware. But he Nothing's said, actually labeled. It's all just a, it's all just a it's number that, that refers to another thing. Olama. Does it? Uh, Olama? Olama? Yeah, that's the name of the small dwarvish. Thanks. So Barack I'm gonna... Olama. <laughs> Olama. <laughs> Barack Olama? What? I'm, s- I'm still confused as to what's going on. I was, I was alive and I was falling one second and then I exploded. And then I was dead, and I was in a terrible place hmm. for hundreds of years. Would you remember exploding? I remember. That was the last thing I remember. Remember all the little pieces. <gasps> I remember. Hmm. Oh, God, I remember. I would eat them. Also, my brother's from Olama. I'm going to look at the map. You guys are between Eastwood and Sergio. Okay. How far away is Olama? It's on the other side of Sergio. How many? Uh, you would guess a few hours. Right? Okay. I suggest we bring this. Oh, sorry. You seemed a little scared, Scrothor. Mm-hmm. Didn't mean to ruffle your feathers here. <laughs> I suggest we bring this dwarf back to his families. And then. This... Oh, I'm sorry, turtles. And then maybe That's... we can find uh, a helpful soul in, in Ye Town. Does anybody know anybody in Sergio? Maybe we could, uh, you know, stay overnight, get done with some blankies. Maybe there's a dying man I could follow. I'm predisposed to pneumonia. <laughs> That's nice. To Sergio. By the way, what's everybody's name? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Scrothor. <laughs> Uh, yes, Mr. Scrothor, you've made that abundantly clear. <laughs> Scrothor is here! You, you, seem, you seem to begin Ooh. every sentence uh, with your name. You seem to replace any any possible place where you would put a pronoun, <laughs> such as, you know, a normal person might use I. You, you instead use Scrothor. Yeah, yeah, Scrothor is communicating. I'm, I'm Clancy <laughs> Scuttlebottom CPA. Ooh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I, I don't need to shake that. It's you it doesn't look washed. Uh, if you want, you can roll information or a history check to figure out what you know about Sergio. Would the dwarf know anybody in Sergio? Uh, the dwarf's a little rattled at the moment. Uh, is still having an existential crisis, it seems. Would somebody uh, shake him so that he comes to his senses? <laughs> I rolled a two for history. Eleven for history. Okay. 19. Well, I guess it's a 7, technically. And Felita's is going to shake the dwarf. <gasps> what did you get for your shake check? <laughs> what do I need to roll for a shake I check? I don't need to shake him too high. If you want to be if you want to do it uh finesse. Non-lethal. Or... No, n- neither is lethal. <laughs> well, yeah, he's not a baby. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean dwarves are kind of small. And he was recently he's just, just sure he's acting like yeah. one. 
So, so like Dex. So, if you want to finesse shake, or if you're looking to just as vigorously shake as possible, I would say strength in that instance. So it's Dex or strength. Shake, shake, shake. It's a fifteen. Shake the dwarf. Fifteen. Right? <laughs> yeah. yeah, you shake the shit With out of Dex. the dwarf. Uh, you, but you shake him in a, a a swarthy way. Yeah. Yeah. And he's just like, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I've, I've never died and come back to life before. It's all a little alarming. Aww. Uh, Sergio's, it gets better every time, trust me. Sergio's fine, I guess. They're really into gold. Like, really, really into gold. Mm. Everybody there is kind of crazy for it. The leader, most of all. Is there some sort of stream nearby where you shake the water? There's no, there's a mine. Mine's mm. right on right the back side of town. Mm. We're probably not welcome there. I mean, they don't. I wouldn't recommend staying too long. They'll, they'll start to get paranoid. Usually, it takes a little bit for the fever to kick in. Gold fever? Yeah. Just. I mean, also, if you just stay out of ecstasy's way, you're fine. Captain Gizzard, do you have a gold tooth? Ah, uh, no, I don't have any teeth. You see, none of these are real. They're uh, coconuts. They're not coconuts. <laughs> On this economy, um, <laughs> no, this is whale bone. Because that's that's whale cheaper. Life. I well, I farmed it myself. Can okay. I taste them? I'm sorry, Captain Kizzard. Are you under the impression that gold teeth are real teeth and that bone <laughs> teeth are fake teeth? <laughs> <laughs> yes, precisely. <laughs> okay. That seems down to me. I I don't know how things work here on the mainland. Scrotho also has no teeth. Do you want to try mine? Yeah. I'm going to take out my teeth okay. and put them into Scrotho's <laughs> beak. They don't really work properly because he doesn't have any. Scrotho like these. He just kind of gets stuck in his chompers. Uh, can't, can't he hold them down with the intrinsic muscles? In also, his he looks horrifying because it's a bird with teeth. <laughs> teeth. <laughs> Maybe if Scrothar is a fan of these. Mm, thank you. They taste wonderful. I can maybe, if we get out to the Ivory Coast, I can probably find you some materials to make your own. Or maybe just one big one that goes over my beak. A beak tooth. A beak tooth. I will write these down in my captain's log. Okay. Any other questions? Well, that? I rolled a 19 for my history on um, that town. Yeah, so uh, it, it's always been a gold farming uh, sort of town. When Got Smiling him. Tom got in, he made sure to really put that place to work <laughs> and start to... <laughs> Sorry. What? Steve's killing me, and I think we're thinking the same thing. What? Do you farm gold? Uh, so they farm gold yeah, in this gold town. They, 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 they raise gold trees, yeah. and they pluck the gold fruit from the trees. Yeah. Oh, okay. Someone's never played World of Warcraft. Come on. I No, I haven't. Yeah, it's called gold farm. I had a girlfriend in college. Yeah, I, did not. <laughs> I did not. Nope. Not till after I quit WoW. Then I got a girlfriend. Weird. <laughs> I know, it's crazy. Well, I, which one of us graduated? I That's actually right. got was, a girlfriend before me. I quit WoW. Oh, nice. Could you, yeah. Is she is she what turned your life around? No, I broke up with her so I could play more WoW. <laughs> <laughs> hey, choices. Yeah. Um, so it, it's always been a mining town. It's always been a little bit on the secluded side, but, you know, it's fine. People go there, especially seeking sort of uh, their fortune. Uh, when Smiling Ta Tom came into the area, he put ecstasy in charge. It's a prostitute female no it's not a prostitute a lady uh, it's a lady yeah, it's a female dragonborn a golden dragonborn or a red dragonborn i should say and it's not on my list of towns ecstasy oh, yeah, is, is. kind of cuckoo for cocoa puffs Bandit very queen. very paranoid and uh the town's not locked down but all of the miners and ecstasy and everybody all their gold goes directly to Smiling Tom, but they are very, very paranoid about anybody coming into town trying to steal it. 
So they get very violent and agitated if they think anybody is there to take their gold. I have a so, question, voice and head. Yes. How do you motivate people to mine gold if they don't get to keep any of it? Uh, Violence. Death. So it's more of a prison town? No, they're, I mean, they, I, it's sort of like they kick the can down the road. Like, don't worry, eventually when Smiling Tom gets enough gold, then you get the rest. You just got to keep making more gold till we get to, you know, the goal line. I don't believe Which there the is goal line that. exists. Well, they're dumb. <clears throat> yeah. So, yeah, so that's how that's working. This sounds like a terrible place. Could be. Clancy, are you still sure you want to stop theirs? I mean, I asked if anybody had family. If the answer's no, we don't have yeah, to go. Let's go around. We could we could camp in the in the wilderness. I'm sure there aren't any, you know, uh Elves? Coyote coyotes filled with helium or anything. <laughs> Elfiotes. That would be weird. But we could, uh, I guess, stop for supplies, I guess. He said just don't stay long. Do yeah. you have any money? I don't. Scrothor's not moving in. Yeah, nobody has any money. I There's actually do. Do you? Oh, okay. Ooh, wow. Wait, how did you get that out of hell? <laughs> um, it was a reverse mortgage. Uh, <laughs> That's fair. They give them away to everybody down in hell. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you, just, you guys just... Uh, Sort of respond with your item, with items, not so much with uh, money. I guess since I took the uh, sailor feet, I came with ten gold. Sure. I not mean, feet. Yeah, sailor uh, background. Okay. I'll say since you have a sailor background. Thing. Yeah, he, keep, he keeps it around in a pouch around his neck, which I just is his item. Just want to make sure. Yeah. Just want to make sure. I believe you. Yeah, gold. I got ten gold. Okay. How you want to spend me money? In your prison pocket. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Popeye. <laughs> so money, um, money, 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 money. It's Mr. Krabs. Play cards. All right. So you guys, uh, the railroad track is just below because you guys were up on like a rocky ridge. So make your way down. All your horses are riding and whatnot. Um, who has Calla or Callum on their horsey? Oh, I can't take uh, an extra ride, and my shell is too big. Callum can ride on Scrothor's <laughs> horse, and Scrothor will fly. Okay. Mm. All right. Don't you have, a, like, a jackalope or something as your... No, I have a lizard. Oh, that's right. Yeah. You have a lizard. You ride a jackalope. No, I, I ride a moose. Oh, yes. Yeah, right. It's Ooh. a dire moose. Is it uh, Clancy who has a jackalope? I must have a jackalope. I'm small, so I yes. definitely have a jackalope. And then, uh, Felita, what do you ride? A horse or a dire coyote? Dire, dire coyote. coyote. He gave you a dire coyote. Did you see, read what I sent you about dire mooses? <laughs> no. You should open the link. I will. All right. So I was also reminded today that the reason we uh, party wiped is because one of us kept Sugarfoot as their horse, and anywhere that horse goes, death, death follows. Comes with uh, that's that's true. I, mean, I will name this lizard yeah. Sugartoes. You guys didn't have your horses for quite a long time, so Sugarfoot um, was still alive. Sugarfoot's Sugarfoot's influence is long. So you had to kill the horse mm-hmm. and, and winding. Prison? You can't kill that horse. Kill the horse inside you. Sometimes they <laughs> the come horse back kills you. again. <laughs> you guys ride west along the railroad tracks. Uh, you see Sergio pop up in the distance, and the the city itself does not seem to be for for a gold farming town. Seems pretty unassuming. Like, does not seem like they're using said gold to like gild the buildings or anything like that. Seems like a pretty standard. In fact, it almost looks like a poorer than normal, uh, large town. So you ride in, and you notice there are some people panhandling on the uh, the sides of the street. Everyone Ooh. looks kind of poor, very scraggly, and uh, yeah. overall just a uh, kind. Everyone has a, a kind of like a thousand yard gaze uh scrotho would like to bless all of the panhandlers okay by th- the glory of bird corp you are given guidance and i what does that mean boop them 
Ooh. casting my cantrip of guidance at them. Okay, what's that do? I touch a willing creature. Okay. And they can add a d4 to the number rolled on the ability check of their choice. So the next person they ask for money, they can ask a little better. Great. Turns to... Ooh. Captain Gizzard. Sir, you smell like you've got gold on you. Can I have a couple, please, so I can eat? He's just hungry. What? I mean, is it something you roll for? Yeah. He's asking first, and then he'll roll. Uh... I uh, just came back from hell, and I don't have uh, my booty on me yet. See how f- concave it is. You said a plus four? Is that what you said? A plus one D4 plus to the next roll. Four. Uh, 19. I, I, sir, I haven't eaten in three days. I could die at any moment. I uh, only need a single gold piece. I haven't eaten yet either, and I came right from hell. But here, what's your name, sons? Sass. Samson. Sass. Sass? Sass. 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 Yes, you got it. Sass. Sass. I'm gonna no, pinch. Fresh. I'm gonna pinch off the gold into his into his hand. Uh, when you do that, uh, <laughs> you notice that all of a sudden the other panhandlers swarm him, change? and they all just start <laughs> change. They all just start fighting over this one coin that you gave them. Okay. Now, I, friends, I, I, we can share it together. <laughs> Listen. And they just are going crazy. I shout over the kerfuffle. Um, Bird Corp is not responsible for any accidental death or dismemberment that may occur while under the blessings of Bird Corp. Exactly. <clears throat> they he don't seem it. to hear you at all. Can I actually cast Mage Hand to try to get that gold yes, piece back? I you think you can. All right, I'm going to cast Mage Hand as, as like they're scrumming about. Yeah. You said stealth? Yeah. Okay. So nobody yeah, 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 yeah. Not... It's a 15? No. Yes. No. 16. I guide you. They don't notice. Nice. The mage hand just slides out of the bottom of the scrum with the gold piece and brings it back to you. Hi. They continue to beat the piss Very out of each good. other over this <laughs> no longer existing gold piece. You are generous. And, and more well and more endowed. bodies keep coming to the pile. So there's, I think ye. there's at least you seven or eight people. You can see how people. tight me pants is on how well endowed I is. Ooh, great. I don't understand that. Hey. Do birds well, have well, penises? <laughs> do birds? Oh, wait, I have a coik, don't I? Birdswithpenises.com. <laughs> is it birdswithpenises.com? I think it's already taken. <laughs> All right. Give me your phone. Let me check. I'll check it myself. <laughs> What were you saying, voice and head? There's like seven people in this scrum. Okay. Yeah. But it just continues on, so you can just move move on with your day if you so wish. There only seems to be... So th- this just seems like one continuous street from start to finish, Ooh. all leading towards the it's mines. It's available. <laughs> <laughs> sure. You do notice that the largest <laughs> building in town seems to be the one closest to the mine. What kind of building is it? Like a bank, uh, a church, it's city none of hall. the above. It looks, it's, it just kind of sticks out over all the rest of them. If you had to guess, it kind of looks like an old saloon, but it does not appear to be running that way. I mean, we don't have to interact with the mine. We can just stay a night while we travel. Well, it's it's still early in the day. It only took you a couple hours to get here, um, so it's like noonish at this point, and. Um, most of the shops, in terms of like general stores and whatnot, that's on this side, so not even over by the mines. So, hmm. uh, is there someone nearby that looks like they are uh, in need of help from Scrothor? I mean, any wayward souls getting beaten by all the other? Old, uh, no, no, he people. will surely pull himself up from his <clears throat> hobo straps. Uh huh. We helped him already. Uh, well, roll perception check. Yes, see if you see maybe, anything. Maybe there are missing children. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why say are, are you gonna eat them? No. No. Investigation. Yes, and also give me a high low intelligence guess. Fifteen. Okay. High low. 
fuck you. <laughs> no. Uh, you do notice that there is a woman who seems to be a bit disheveled, running out of a building. Uh, her clothes are a little uh, ripped and torn, and she seems to be a little, little busted up. Looks like possibly been in a fight of some sort and running across the street. And there appears to be a male coming out of the building who's staggering around drunkenly with a pistol drawn and just sort of firing in the air. Get back here, woman! He yells. That's terrible. Mm -hmm. Then you notice he gets a lasso out. And he's trying ah, to the old wrangler. I feel like we should kill him. <clears throat> yeah. Do you want to lasso him and I'll fly him up in the sky? And then drop him? Mm. <laughs> nope. No. Don't Felita like pulls out her uh, shotgun. All right. We're going to handle this the old-fashioned way. Mm. All right. He doesn't even notice you guys. He's he's just focused on the lassoing. Because he's getting ready to let go of that rope. Felita's going to walk up and stick that shotgun right in his back. Okay. And he, uh, he you might want to drop the rope. All right. Making a big mistake, whoever you is. I'm, bi I'm a big person in this town. I, got I don't give a fuck who you are. Mm. Hey, drop him. Open. Smells someone near death. He's hungry. <laughs> <laughs> mm. So we just gonna like stay in here with the gun in my back this whole day? Like, what are we doing? I mean, either I'm gonna put this whole load of buckshot in your ass, or you're gonna walk back in that building. You're, you're, put a you're between me and the ass. building, though. No. Whole Ex load in his ass. That's right, Clancy. Excuse me, lady. Hello. Oh, the lady who ran across yes. the street. Yes. Oh, yes. You dropped your can of food. <laughs> okay. Where'd you get a can of food? <laughs> <laughs> He's trying to start the storyline. Yeah, come, come on, on Dennis. <laughs> oh, that. Okay. <laughs> come so what? I haven't watched. What seems movies. to be the matter? Oh, he. He, that's my husband. He, I didn't make his toast the way he exactly likes it. And he got a little, he got a little violent. So it was my fault. I didn't cook it properly. Hmm. Scrothor casts mending on her clothing. Uh, it fixes her right up, and she's like, oh, are, you, "Are you magical?" I am Scrothor. <laughs> <laughs> I don't of the desert. Oh, okay. I haven't seen one of your kind around here. Yes, I am from Bird Corp, and we send our greetings. What's Bird Corp? We are a citadel far away, and we're trying to get to the root of everything to, to make everything better. Okay. The, the essence of the situation will be revealed. Okay. At some future date. <laughs> All right. So we're oddly specific. And vague at the same time. Yes. Well, this you, can we offer you some marriage counseling? Um, <laughs> I feel like as soon as you leave, it's gonna it's gonna revert back to being the way it was. Mm. Irreparable well, differences. Well, then, do you want him to keep breathing? Well, I mean, I don't think I don't think his boss will like it if you kill him. I don't give a fuck what his boss likes. It would also dissolve their marriage. That legally, is true. Legally speaking. It would dissolve the marriage, but ecstasy's not going to be happy about it. Hmm. That's the foreman of the mine. What if there was a new foreman? I mean, you might want to take that up with her a, first a, before a you A five man, the fifth man. There's always more cogs for the wheel, as the bird corp always says. Kind, sweet Scrothall, you don't want to stay in this town, I'm telling you. No. It's got a, it has a way with people. We're on our way somewhere else. I don't want to be the foreman. Oh, okay. It felt like you were saying you wanted a job. No, so He was just brainstorming. I could do maybe a, a search position and find the right candidate. <laughs> if this one proves uh, to be injured on the job... Are you fucking HR Skeksis? <laughs> <laughs> and head, how far are we from where we're trying to get to? You mean the dwarven? Oh, llama. Yeah. yeah. Uh, maybe three, four hour ride. It wouldn't be dark by the time we get there. Oh, why are we here? You want supplies? You got somewhere? anywhere you can go? 
I've lived here my entire life. Hmm. You want to come with us? I mean... <laughs> Do you guys got gold where you're going? Yeah. Like a lot Probably. of... Probably. Dwarves. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, they typically have a lot of gold. Hmm. I mean, sure, yeah, fine. I'll, I'll come with. Felita pulls the trigger. <laughs> All right. Oh. <laughs> oh, 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 uh, shit. I was ready for the net lunch anyway. We should probably go now. That's Would a nat 20, though. Okay. Um, <laughs> a point blank? <laughs> in half, Wasted, so, wasted nat 20. So the human body, he's he bent the wrong direction. Uh, so instead of bending forwards, he bent kind of opposite, where his middle section went out and the other end sort of folded in. Uh, except he's not attached anymore as it completely just eviscerates the midsection of the body. Hold on. Yes. As the body separates, sure. can I cast Ray of Frost on it? <laughs> okay. So it freezes in, in time and place? Oh, I thought you were going to freeze like the... Would it the, do that? The gut shut so he lives longer. Oh, that would have been funnier. <laughs> that just does freezing damage. <laughs> Does it freeze things? Yeah, I think you're right. It just does frost damage. Okay. Man. Yeah, it just does frost damage. Okay. Okay. Um, I mean, you can we make can it. Make the it body we frosty. can make it fun, and it could do it anyway. Uh, you know, it's an so inanimate cool. object at this point. You can, you know, what? Roll me a d20. I got one of those somewhere. You cure wounds real fast, <laughs> so that the stump on the bottom closes up. And he's <laughs> uh, what do you want added to this? Arcana. What's uh? What's your spell stat? Hello, mister. I rolled a fourteen. I mean, like, is there like a save stat or anything for your class? Probably. It's usually eight plus your modifier yeah, plus your proficiency. The question would be, what's which modifiers he? He's a uh, wizard, so int. So, so then int. Would I say fourteen? Yeah. Twenty. A twenty. So. You know what? Yes. So you cast Ray of Frost, and as the body has separated, you cast Ray of Frost, and it freezes from the middle to the rest of him. And he's stuck in this pose, uh, and there's just icicles shooting away from the area that you shot or shot him from, basically. So the middle part and all the little pellets are spread out as well. So it's like a little... Uh, explosion outwards and then him folding backwards and he's just frozen in place and the wife is like oh my god did you cast cold person <laughs> what? what I mean we should probably go right yes. now yes hop on my horse with my dwarf friend and I will fly after I grab this leg <laughs> <laughs> okay you notice that the rest of the, that a lot of people in town have looked over and they're like, oh. they, they weren't concerned about the hobos beating each other to death, but no. as soon as you shoot one guy. Yeah, I mean, the hobos, okay. the, the hobos <laughs> didn't die from the beating. Hey, hobos, get over here. I'm not saying it's the guns that the are the hobos problem. are the ones that are like, oh. I'm saying it's just people down the street. Felita hops on her dire coyote and says, come on. Okay. Um, as, as a. Scrothor takes off with a piece of meat from this foreman. Okay. Um, I'd like to do a persuasion to to the crowd that's watching. Okay. To say, clearly the foreman would have money, gold on him. Okay. Uh, persuade with a 16. Uh, they look at each other quickly, and then they rush over and just start bashing the cold body with whatever they can find yeah. to break it up to start looking through the pockets. We'll escape in the, <laughs> the chaos. As you guys ride away, you hear a few gunshots go off, but they're in the distance. It doesn't sound like they're closing, so it's probably just to break up whatever crowd had gathered around the body at that point. So. Um, I'm going to cast Skyright Surrender. Oh, uh, like a message in the sky or something? Yeah. Okay. Um, I get ten words. Fiat currency. <laughs> <laughs> Bitcoin is the future. I'm going to write in the sky, um, 
Blondie will be back for the rest of you. Okay. Cross the sky. Okay. Who is Blondie? As we continue uh, out through the town. Blondie is the boss of the next town over. Oh, he was smart. Uh, pit them yeah, against each other. He's in uh, Eastwood, if I recall. Why are you starting a civil war? I like playing oh. wizards. <laughs> <laughs> Just keep track of your spells. I am. I, I will. The Ray of Frost was a cantrip. Sure. Yes, so. mine too. Okay. So you guys ride off. Uh, clouds appear and form into the words. Uh, you you remember to have it face the right direction so they're not reading it backwards. Mm. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so you put that up and you guys ride off. Uh, Captain, if those townspeople could read, they'd be very upset right now. It's a great meme. <laughs> I'm hoping that at least uh, the people in charge are able to understand the the words. Also, and that they don't yeah, ask questions. If if the people I used to work for are any indication, they don't. But I, well, hope, may- I hope for your sake they do. Maybe <laughs> uh, their accountant will be able to translate. Maybe. If they've got a good one. I don't know. I don't know either. He wasn't a member of the accountant's union, so. He was a vampire. I was a, I was a non-union, non-union accountant. That's right. That's why I got killed. Um, <laughs> also, I forgot to mention this. She was riding west. Uh, to the far south, there is a giant black cloud with red lightning bolts that's just swirling over one spot. That seems. Even though it's broad daylight over there, it's very dark. I would like. Does it have like a pirate's face? I was on gonna it say, is talking? there like a raid going on? No, there's Maybe. no faces or anything like that. Uh, it's just you just see this huge swirling black cloud. With red lightning bolts uh, raining down pretty constantly. Poison head. Yes. Uh, does it also show up on the map that I have? No. Okay. Oh, let's go there. I you should wind. mark it on the map so we know where it is at all times. Wait, wait. Voice and head. Yes. Do we know if we mark something on this map? Does it our mark become magical? Mm. What do you mean? Okay, so if we were to say, okay, there's a weird storm over there that looks maybe perpetual or something. Or magical. And we wanted to mark down the storm. Mm-hmm. Would, the, would the map magically be like, oh, yeah, I'm going to keep track of that storm for you. I don't have a laser pilot. Low. Uh, so if you draw something on your map, it'll animate in that spot. But it will not track something. Hmm. That is neat, actually. It's very neat. Thank you. So, yeah. So, if you draw a little picture of a swirling storm, you notice that the lines swirl around. I'm going to shoot. Okay. Captain, uh, can I see the map for a second? I hear you go, and I pass it off to the Tortuga. I, I, I take the map, and I draw a little paper clip with eyeballs. Hmm. Okay. Does it animate it and dance around a little <laughs> it, bit? It doesn't move around the map, but it's, well, is it it's in place. It is waving and blinking. Does it, does it offer helpful tips to me? It doesn't. Hmm. Oh, well, I, it never did. <laughs> that's right. I'm kind of hoping that we could explore this storm because it's interesting. I, well, I agree with ye. I want to get the dwarf back to his family. Any dwarf in a storm. Also, if you travel directly south, you'd go through Unforgiven, which is Smiling Times. Oh, it's that far. Yeah, that's that far away. It's not. Okay. It's 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 pretty far away to the south. <laughs> if you had to take an educated guess, you'd probably guess Yuma. Do you think it's a time storm from the Turkey people? You don't know about that. The what? <laughs> he we- he works for Bear Incorporated. He knows everything. Bad call. Bad call. Bad call. Bad call. Yeah, it's just bear. The turkeys corporate. are just one part. What one are the arm turkey of people? The octopus that is bird corp. Okay, so you guys are heading to Olama. Yep. Yes. Okay. So you guys head the rest of the way, and Callum is still a little bit beside himself, a little, a little unsure of himself, a little crazy. He's all shook up. But uh, but Ooh. you guys you guys ride you you notice a sign for Olama right up a mountain pass, and it looks as though there was some sort of recent calamity here hmm. where, uh, like, they had a massive rock slide and it was dug out, it looks like. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you, you head on in, and it seems like a pretty standard uh, dwarvish 
mountain dwarf, I should say, uh, town. And they, they sort of stop you as you come in. They're like, whoa, 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 whoa. Callum, is that you? Yeah, it's, it's me. Oh, well, you, your brother's been worried sick. Well, I, who, you know what? Are these your friends? Best friends. Yeah, yeah, they're, they're friends. Uh-huh. We came yeah. out of hell together. Maybe not share that with everybody. Hell, Clancy. that's where we came from. I'm not just, a you should back out of hell, so that. to speak. Look, I'm done being dishonest, okay? I'm, I went to hell the last time because of it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, uh. We've been to hell in back. All right. Well, uh. You know what? Welcome to Olama. You know, our, our, you know, if you guys need a place to stay, we got plenty of you know, places for rent. Got a legendary gunsmith down on the bottom. <laughs> um, you know, or if you're just looking for ready made guns and armor and stuff like that, we have that here too. So feel free to have at it. A Scrothal has no money at the moment. Well, then. I will build an empire. Sleep on the streets. No. <laughs> I can fly. Surely Sleep you have rocks. some vacant housing we can stay in. Do we have any vacant housing? No, not. Yeah, you didn't have like a, you may, maybe you had like a recent catastrophic event that killed a lot of your residents and now you have a lot of really empty housing. Really killed a lot maybe. of residents. A Perhaps. couple, maybe. Maybe. A, a couple of vacant houses, you know. I mean... Roll persuasion to see if he'll just let you stay in a dead I'll, family's house. Sure, I'll do that. Oh, it's yeah, that's a five. Let's wow. see what I add to that. <laughs> okay, uh, six. Uh, I'm sorry, you know, really. <laughs> the service is tomorrow. You know, <laughs> yeah. If you were sorry, if you were sorry, you would help us. <clears throat> I, I am helping you. I gave you directions. That's helping. That's your job, actually. Well, it's not. I'm not. You're, you're the gate guard. You're supposed to tell people what. Uh, what the, why? What? Why I just are you trying to I stop us from staying in here? Wait, well, because you can't just let any old random strangers just ride into your town. That's how we got bandits in the first place. We brought the uh, prodigal son back to you. I said that. Yeah, I see. I see. That's why I said you're more than welcome here. Uh, you know, we'll give you. I best I can do. I give you a discount at the inn. And well, also Clancy could Wait, maybe look at the books of the You're the inn. innkeeper. No, you're the innkeeper. I, I'm mayor. You're and the, the mayor. Mayor and sheriff. <laughs> sh- what? Mayor. Wait, you're not a guard, but you're the mayor and I'm the, the sheriff. Mayor. And you can get a discount at the inn, but you don't own it. Well, I could put in a good word. I fe- I I need to inside check this man, <laughs> my friend. <laughs> That's a 13. Is he full of shit? No, he seems like he's, he could probably get you a discount. Just because he believes what he's saying doesn't mean he's not wrong. <laughs> it's true. Now, now remind me, M- Marif. In yeah. your culture. <laughs> Tom Marif. In your culture, if someone defeats you in combat, do they absorb your position? No, <laughs> not typically. Very good. Thank you. Uh, all right. Sheave my dagger. <laughs> Weird question. All right. Bad person was curious. How much does the uh, 19-year-old uh, tavern cost you? Uh, with discount rate, you know, I'm assuming one room would work for the four of you. I'll sleep on the chimney. I really just withdraw into my shell. I was just making a fuss. <laughs> yes, he'll. I'll fly him to the top of a roof. And he'll withdraw into the shell, and then I'll perch on the shell. So we only really need one room. All right. Well, then, uh, you know, discounted rate, two gold. We have five days worth of lodging. <laughs> Times a desperate. That doesn't leave much for food. I mean, you could also take up you know, I an just odd ate. job or something like that. You mean I could get, like, a job at a shop or something? <laughs> <laughs> you, you know what? Recently, the shopkeeper did fire somebody oh, uh, no, for being a poor terrible. employee. I I'm think that uh, looking for a new employee. I think Clancy's talents are wasted in front of house. Perhaps he could take a look at your books and sub- provide new revenue streams. I don't have yeah, books. I'm, I don't own businesses. You're the mayor. I'm how, the mayor. Is, how do you not have books? You're responsible for the finances of the town. It's so irresponsible. That's just, I, don't, I don't think you know what mayors do. I think. Look, okay. Look, mayors administrate the entire town. You should definitely have some sort of accounting. But all, the, but all those businesses there are responsible. I, I have. Look, it's fine. It's fine. Look, you're going to hire me as your, you you're gonna hire me as your accountant, and I'm going to take care of everything for you. I have Don't a treasurer. Then what, you, Is the treasurer just, not levying taxes? 
They are. Uh, yeah, th they do that. I don't want to get in their business. Well, how do you know they're not stealing from you? Well, I without... wouldn't think old Eustace would steal from me. But now you can't get it out of your head, can you? Well, when you say it like that, it's weird. Because you've never asked, have you? I haven't thought about it. And Eustace it's always pretty... the ones you don't think would do it. Well, He's probably up to no good. You should probably hire, you know, somebody from outside who doesn't have a vested interest in, uh, in manipulating. Tell me, does Eustace have a very wealthy kind of house? Dirty 20. <laughs> Dirty 20. Uh, no, Eustace lives in the same rock hole that we all do. Yes, but clear, some places are better than others. I mean, Eustace does have a pretty s swanky wheelchair. Hmm. I mean, maybe mm. that, you Always know what? got the best things, huh? He do, you know what? It, it, just because he ain't got no legs doesn't mean he should have fancy silver wheels. Scrothor pulls out the leg of the guy from the town square and starts snacking on it. What are... Why? Why? Where'd you get that leg? It's human leg. Don't that doesn't worry. make it better. It was look. A we have extra legs. We have extra legs. We're not gonna spend money on fancy chairs. We have legs to spare. And eat. Mm, spare leg. All right. Spare legs. Would well, you, like you know what? Turtle? You have raised a concern in me, and I think it might be time to retire old Eustace. So, uh, you know what? Clancy, you oh, seem Lord. like a well-educated sort. You're our new Absolutely. treasurer. Fantastic. Uh, I'll have I'll draw a contract of employment up. Great. You do that. A you'll, favorable. You'll contract. start immediately after that. You'll find it's a pretty it's a pretty busy hop to town. Mm. Might be tough. Keep track of old finances. And he's in done. <laughs> Cla Clancy, don't forget to yes. Uh, subcontract it's a pretty. Him. I just hand him like a giant stack of papers. That was it's, fast. It's a it's a, it's a pretty yeah. standard employment contract. I keep forms on me that are you know <laughs> that you might need. Uh, you'll find everything's there, in, 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 including you know. Uh, look, uh, there's lots of compartments in my shell. Okay, Do you there's like a uh, shorter places contract, for paper and like a ink. one pager, maybe two. Oh, you don't need to read it. Uh, you'll find everything. I don't know. Just if sign I, here. I can't. Just I can't. sign here. It's roll persuasion. I, 19. <laughs> I mean, like I said, you do seem pretty trustworthy, I guess. Uh, you would, I mean, you're the new treasurer. Obviously, you wouldn't steer me wrong. No. Uh, Obviously not. I'm, I have you, only your best interests at heart, and you know that because I'm here for money. Well, that's a weird way to word it, but. <clears throat> no, I mean, I'm your employee. Oh, okay. Well, you I guess I'll him. I guess I'll sign it. And he signs okay, the, yes. the contract. Initial, initial here. Oh, okay. And the subcontractor form. Yep. For Burko. And initial. Oh, okay. And and lick this. Why? Just to open your mouth. I just need a swab, a, a buccal swab. Why? If your beak's not wet look, enough, I can open it's, it for you. It's for insurance purposes. I don't know what that means. Look, the next time you make stool, I need you to fill up this cup what? and return it to me. <laughs> This see this is this is way more intricate than any contract I've ever been a part of. Well, I guess old Eustace wasn't really doing his job properly, was well, he? Well, Eustace, I was doing fine. Yeah, well, Eustace, you know, out with the old and in with the new. I'm still spry. You, you, you're in a rock. You're in a mountain with a wheelchair. You're not really getting around too well. I Eustace. get around where I need we to. We had to build ramps everywhere for you. Legally, <laughs> by the <laughs> act of disability, you had to anyways. Whatever. You haven't heard the Roll last on. of old Yusuf. <laughs> Yusuf. And, and Yusuf Eustace doesn't and... mean useless. As use as useless Eustace rolls away, <laughs> shaking his fist. That's where we're gonna take a break. Hello listeners, it is I, Dennis, the world's most okayest DM, here with another advertisement for patreon.com slash botched podcast. Now, as always, you can subscribe for as little or as much as you want. You know, in case you just wanted to give us the tip, in which case we'd read your name at the end of the show, and that's about it. Or if you wanted to go all the way to God King status for $100 a month, whatever you want to do, that's cool with us. But if you're curious about the bi-weekly episodes that we release each month as a bonus to patrons, which is $5 a month, by the way, this month's bonus episodes are Drunk Girl Adventures. And if you're not familiar, we play a bunch of drunk girls in San Francisco who do drunk girl stuff. Who's the quest giver? Usually somebody crying in a bathroom, because as everybody knows, drunk girls help anybody they find crying in a bathroom. 
it's just science, okay? So here's a clip from the episode where drunk girls try and save Christmas. Did I let the Alpine play as I was pumping new shit by, by a WA? WA. Gangster, gangster gangster at the top, top of the list. list. Then I played the new shit, it went something like this. Cruising down the street in my slates for jogging the bitches, slapping the hose. I went to the park to get the scoop. Uncle Ed's out there cold shooting some hoops. Car pulls up, who can it be? It's my show, you need to roll a kilo G. He rolls throws down his window and he starts to say, it's all about it's I'm making, making that, that GTA Cause the boys in the hood are always on Come talking that trash and we'll pull your car Don't want nothing in life but to be legit Don't quote me, boy, I ain't said shit I love is, sea shanties Did Does he hear us singing? Is what we sing boys while in we the try hood? to catch up to them Yeah, what? We do, try to sing that as we catch up to them Do they hear us singing boys in the hood? By a dynamite hack The dynamite hack cover they are so they are also singing at the same time, so they do not. Are hear they singing the "Dynamite Hack"? No, they're Shh. singing something else. Fantastic! As I said, you can find the rest of this, as well as all the other thousands of hours of content we have, as well as all the other levels we have. You can find them over at Patreon.com/slash/BotchedPodcast. All right, back to the show. And we're back with his square wheels. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> clunk, 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 clunk. That they're not lined up though. No. no. <laughs> and they're spray painted silver. They're not really made of silver. Look at him, rich some bitch, showing <laughs> off to everybody. That's why he's got three wives probably. He's always been the ladies' man. Hey, slave puss all day long. <laughs> That's why I used sing to... this mining song. <laughs> Daddy Moore used to. There's a new puss out in town. His name is Clancy. I, uh, I can smell it a mile away. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. All right, well, I'm going to go check out this gunsmith and see why he was so important. Yeah, I'm going to go down with ye. Okay. Uh, we can all go together. Why not? Clancy, you got to get to work. Oh, no, I my hours, I don't start until 2 p.m. It's, it's in the contract. <laughs> it's standard. But it's, uh. It's, it's currently standard. 4 p.m. It's standard. The next day. Oh, you Would don't you start like, today? You start tomorrow? Are you saying that you want to renege on the contract? Well, I don't... They're, you didn't let me read very it. I don't know what's firm, in it. There are very firm penalties. You just said you don't start till 2. Look, it's currently 4. Look. <laughs> 4, 4 p.m.? Yeah. Shit. <laughs> I'm late. <laughs> I'm yeah, late. you're two hours I'm late, late, buddy. We're docking right. your pay. Two hours. I go to I go to the office. <laughs> Get to work. All right. So the rest of you, other than Clancy, because he gave himself a job again. <laughs> Jackson didn't need to do that. Literally two for two for making jobs. Uh, Somebody's got to earn money here. So you guys head to the bottom of the cave, and it's a swirling uh, sort of ramp. And the, the buildings get more and more sparse. Eventually, at one point, you pass... What appears to be a barn of some sort with some strange mewing noises. Scrothor. Yeah. You want to have a race to the bottom. What's at stake? Can I eat your bird? No, you can't eat quick draw, McCaw. I feel like I could. Uh, You probably could, but I wouldn't appreciate it. Hmm. He's a good bird. Good bird. Is he magical? McGaw. No, you say good bird. Good bird. Good man. bird. <laughs> like that. Good bird. Is he magical? No, no, no. I feel like he may have been resurrected from the dead. I mean, we all were. So we're all magical. I guess that hurt. And I run. Are you offering your heart? <laughs> Scrap! The magic was insane. Now, there's a big hole in the middle, so, I mean... I can jump. Yeah, I just fly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's right. You, you just can fly. fly. Yeah. That's that's I like, fly down the hole and into the smithy. you're going to win any race. Um, I don't have to roll because I move at 50 flying. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> I sprint. Yeah, you, you're running around the ramp, and he just flies in a straight motion down towards the bottom towards a small shack. And there are There's a big pillar or tube that looks like it goes from the shack all the way up into the top of the mountain. Uh, but when you get down there, Callum. And Felita's running too? Or? 
Mm, I'm, I'm, I'll get there. Yeah, Callum's not running. It's like cowboy walking the whole way down the ramp. <laughs> 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 um, so I'm going to say Scrothor beats Captain Gizzard by quite a bit. Yeah. Yes. Uh, you the, know what I'm going to do? Shed. Send your bird. Since we have new characters, me. I'm going to keep a body count to see who has the most kills. Okay. So Felita's got one. Yeah. Nice. I think that would be fun. Sure. I tried to do it with curse words in season one, but it didn't go too Fuck right. you. <laughs> oh, Jesus. So, you guys get to the the blacksmith's home. You're going to hear... Tink. 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 And Callum's just like, well, I guess we're here. Hi. And he knocks on the door. There's somebody inside just goes, Go away, I'm busy. What it's about me. very old friends? It's me, your brother, Callum. <laughs> and you hear the tinking stop, and the door flings open, and this uh, large, beefy dwarf just grabs Callum, gives a big old hug and a sloppy kiss on the cheek. Oh, Callum, I missed you so much. Yeah, I died. I came back from the dead. I, w- I exploded. Who killed you? Gravity? But who brought you to gravity? I fell out of a poop pipe. Shit! And, uh... Somebody tried to save me repeatedly, but failed. And I smashed into a rock. I exploded. Well, at least they tried. At least they tried. It's worth something, I guess. Uh, and then the devil brought me back to life. From the rock face? Yeah, I guess. Why did the devil choose you? I don't know. To keep the storyline moving? I'm not really a part of your story, I feel like. I just make armor. What about teeth? I mean, I can make teeth. I didn't... I mean, me or my brother here could probably make teeth. Oh, it's nice to meet you. What's your name? Some people call me Morrissey. But you can call me Teefies. <laughs> Morrissey. Fuck Morrissey. I mean, we can, I guess. Never fucked a bird person before. First time for everything. Is, uh, is meat murder? <laughs> I, I mean, depends on how you get the meat, I guess. If you murdered something to get their meat, I would say, yeah, in that instance, it would be murder. And if it's a sentient being, I would say it's probably murder. Like if you killed a, a person, like the leg that you're currently chewing on right now. I didn't now. kill this person. I found him. Okay, well, then that's not murder. That's just meat. I killed him. That's murder. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You're just an accomplice. He was a bad person. I was happy in a haze of a drunken hour. All right. But heaven knows I'm miserable now. So your brother is back to you, eh? Well, it's, it's weird because I sent, I, I told these other folks about him, and they didn't come. They haven't, I haven't seen them since I told them about the prison where he. I think we saw them in passing on the way up from hell. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So they died. They seems like a bunch of charming men. Yeah, I wouldn't go that far. No, oh, right? Uh, I wouldn't say charming. They kept one guy kept trying to murder another guy's pet, kept no. trying to put it in the fire, and make it magical. Some guy told some other person in town told me they wanted to make it like a chicken robot body. What? Something. A robot chicken. So I'm not 100% sure on the details. Do you have schematics? Bird Cup was very interested. I mean, I... Sure. It wasn't really building a robot body. It was mostly just toss pieces of the bird in uh-huh. to the magical fire that I got, and what? it mix it with metal, and boom, you got... I don't know if I believe bird. that. What what made the bird magical? In the Seriously. Place? It sounds like a duck tail to me. Well, well it was... Ooh-hoo. It was a cave canary, not a duck, but that's fine. Uh, well, to my understanding, the bird was also resurrected huh. from hell, so my guess would be that's what made it magical. Hey, look at the parrot. Was that parrot? McCall, whatever it is. Quick draw, McCall. Does it have <laughs> a gun? Does it have a gun? 
Well, it's got a pop it's gun. Quick, quick draw. I assume that means like a gun. It's oh a no! Yeah. It's got uh, artistic values. He does caricature very... really quick. Oh, it draws uh. pictures. Uh, he does. Uh, yes. All right. What? Can it draw something for me? I mean, it does. It doesn't work for free. Can it? Can it draw me a nude portrait? <gasps> like if I'm if I'm let naked and like working the forge, can it like make a, a portrait that I can hang up? You're making everyone here very uncomfortable. Why? Well, no, I'm, I'm looking fine. for an artistic, imp- like expression of my work. That's not just a gun. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, you'll have to ask E-Bird, but uh, it doesn't come cheap. All right, well, what can I do for you? I, uh, make, I make guns. Okay, I make would... magical guns. Uh, I've got reagents. I can make magical stuff. This fire out here, boom. I can make magic shit. My friend here, Felita, is very quick uh, with the trigger. All right. So maybe a magical gun for them would be... Uh... Well, I just got basic stuff right now. You got any magical reagents I can put together? Or we're just you got talking. anywhere we can get these magical reagents? Because I would like something that shoots a little faster. Something that shoots faster. Twice as fast. And I'll, sh- I'll trade you a titty picture for it. <laughs> well, now, I believe he said bird. he wanted something tasteful of with him myself. at the forge. I mean, I can, I mean, the bird can draw very tasteful nudes, and he's got quite voluptuous uh, pecs from working that forge. And so glistening with sweat. Now who's making draw? I'm sorry, I was out to sea for a very long time. <laughs> Did you ever draw a lady on a chaise lounge with like a diamond, and just a diamond? I, uh, I believe so, but it went down with the door. You see, there was not enough room for for me and the picture, <laughs> so I had to throw it off. So that I could survive, you see. Where, there, I mean, I had mentioned to the other group there's some magical creatures, but, I mean, a couple more have come to mind since then. Uh, well, what's, I only want the one that will get the gun for uh, Felita so that they can shoot quicker. Faster. Faster. Uh, well, there has been a large bird snatching children up. <laughs> so, I mean, if you kill that, it's probably magic. Is that okay with you, Scrothor? Every bird for themselves. Yes. It's in the nearby mountains. Can I? Hold on. In the same vein. Blink. Grab a feather from. Squawk. <laughs> Is this magical? I mean, yeah, technically. What can you? Can you? So I have this magical cape, <laughs> and I have this magical feather. Okay. Well, I'm not an armor smith, but he is. He he might be able to do something. Callum! Yeah? Can you combine these things? Maybe. Leave them here. Okay. Come back in a little while. Like a day, maybe. <laughs> Your voice is so shaky. Because <laughs> I've literally lost it. Callum. I went to hell! Callum, have a bite. Here. I pulled a piece of meat. Is that the leg? Do you need my teeth, son? Do you, want me, do you want me to, need any teats. to baby it to you? The man's leg? Uh, I don't, uh, I don't uh, want any of that. Uh, no. You're a monster. I've already started, though. No. <laughs> Throw up in the fire. Feed it to quick draw. Quick draw. Quick draw. Quick draw. Quick draw. <laughs> quick draw shoves its head into your mouth and it's just... Ha! Uh. Ah, I feel so much lighter. Have you guys ever tried that? To purge. <laughs> the purge. The bird purge. My bulimic <laughs> friend. <laughs> yes. I, I you, leave you it said with said there's, there's, oh. there's a large bird stealing large children. And a large bird. <laughs> huh? Well, it's bigger than you. I, I would guess it's probably like a young rock. Mm. Bird girl is interested. How far out is it? Uh, well, it's in this mountain range, so you basically just leave this city and then you go wander around the mountains. So, I don't know exactly where it is. Can we only harvest one source from a magical creature? Oh, does it maybe no, you get multiple things. Hmm. They would have different effects. Hmm. For speed, my guess would be for a rock, I would say the, the feathers. Yes. Uh, they also got a razor sharp beak. They got mm-hmm. some talons. They got blood. They got insides. They got all kinds of Hot, stuff. Yes. Heart. Yeah, bird heart. I guess we could Dale kill Bird it. Hart. 
Listen, we don't have a lot of capital with us. Do you have anything that we can use to collect these things? Like a bucket? And then you can keep, part, well, you know, bucket yeah. skins. I mean, we, we got bags. I got some satchels and backpacks and. I, th- I think what Felita is saying is if we get six magical things, we keep four and you keep two. And then that's a good trade for the labor involved. Well, that's where he come in with the picture. And the titty picture. It's, I don't know why you're saying titty picture. It's going to be tasteful nude of me working the forge. That's what... And uh, naked. Translation is strange with the bird brains. Mm. I thought mammals love memories. No, they love having memories of him working the forge, mm. you see. Oh, yes. I have, I have backpacks. Is that good enough? You want backpacks? He backpack, doesn't understand backpack, trade. Backpack. It's good. Yes. Backpack, Satchel, backpack. backpack, stuff like that. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I think I that'll can, do. Yeah, I got I got that. I can give you each a backpack. He's just Oh, uh, We got away. a fourth member. Can we? Well, I don't actually know if he would need a backpack. He would need a backpack. Maybe yeah, a backpack. I mean, all right, he would need a, need a backpack. A pizza box, perhaps. It's going to have to have long straps on it, though. He's very short, though. Meanwhile, meanwhile, Clancy, uh, you're in the uh, city council, if you want to call oh it that. It looks like everybody. God, building. this town's finances are in tatters. Uh, yeah, there's not a whole lot of revenue coming in other than people buying guns. And, and good thing I'm getting paid 100 gold a day. I'll be out and, here tomorrow. And, <laughs> and they're parts. donating it all to charities. What the mm-hmm. fuck is this? So they Most don't have of to the pay funds taxes. are going to rebuild, you know, things that have been lost. Public works. Cave in. Oh, Jesus. So, yeah, that's what you're noticing. Like how? You know, the books. But everything is, like, very simplistic uh, in terms of how it's all set up and listed out by this old man. Luckily, uh, he was in a wheelchair, so everything's at the perfect height for me. <laughs> yep. Um, On a table. Well... I, 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 I commenced to sorting it out, um, but, uh, I mean, obviously I'm, I'm going to need to uh, look at some tax records of some people that uh, might be advantageous to have leverage against. Okay. Maybe uh, some store owners. Okay. Local politicians. Uh, there's really only one politician, and it's the, the mayor, but... Uh, you are more than welcome to roll investigation. To Pizza well, shop owners. He's stupid enough. I can get. I can. I can just push him around. Um, I'm gonna need. Uh, and he's bound yeah, by leverage over the, the shopkeeper. Oh shit! Oh these 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 documents are so disorganized. Uh, um, but uh, I'm, I bring them up close to my face so I get advantage with my uh, spectacles. Sure. With my magical spectacles. That's much better. Thank you. That's a twenty-six. Uh, so, yeah, so you notice that there's a discrepancy of uh, what the, the main gun shop where they're claiming an employee, but there are no records of that person ever paying an employee. Uh-huh, uh, they just uh-huh. listed them having an employee to get some sort of break oh. uh, in their taxes. So that's oh, one my. thing. Yeah, I'm going to have to copy these documents. Uh, <laughs> you so also I'm, I'm going to... Uh, there's a... One shop that specifically sells sort of robotic parts, uh, oh, especially for Warforged. But they don't really wow. seem to generate a lot of revenue, but they do have a lot of expenses. And according to the tax records, they've been in the red for over seven years now, which, to your recollection, you can only be in the red for three years before your business longer no longer gets tax credits. Oh, my. Oh my! All right. Well, uh, yeah, I'll obviously need copies of these as well if I'm going to, uh, you know, give these folks an opportunity to set the record straight, as it were. Sure. Those are really the only big discrepancies you notice. Okay. Everyone okay. else has pretty standard. They don't really even collect a ton of taxes, but um, everything else seems pretty standard. I can, yeah. I mean, you know, everything's pretty standard usually. I can, I can get. Uh, I can get pretty uh, pretty much everything else in order pretty quickly, I imagine. Um, but you know, I'll 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 put in my my uh, my full day's work here. Um, okay. But afterwards, uh, you know, uh, I'm gonna go to uh, the vacant house that was stipulated in my contract that now belongs to me and my party. <laughs> yep. And. Uh, <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, which I obviously would have told them about before they wandered off. And, uh, you know, I'll, I'll meet up with them uh, after my shift. Your four hour shift? Uh, well, you know, I mean, it's 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 not back breaking labor, but it is brain breaking labor, and you want to keep your your tools sharp as an accountant. You know, they don't want to overwork you. You don't want sloppy bookkeeping like this. Okay, that's how that man ended up in a wheelchair. I guarantee you. <laughs> so, he overworked his brain. Yes, <laughs> his feet it happens. don't work no more. I've, I've, I've seen it before. I've seen it before. The rest of the group goes to the abandoned building that you now own. <sighs> um, yes, it's fully furbished. Uh, lots of pictures of some random family that you don't know. It's weird. How many bedrooms? Uh, three. Is there a cat? <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> You can't eat the cat. Can't we have a high low on that? Eat... Uh, well, the only reason no. I'm saying no is because of the creatures that they use to milk in this town are large, mm. fat cats. So is there be weird like a domestic that. rat? Or yes, there is a domestic rat. It's uh, now it's why a very... has it got to be somebody's pet? Does he have a collar? It has a collar. Yeah. <laughs> it's a name. On no, it, it has collar. What is his name? His cholera? Is that his yeah. cholera, yeah. His, na- his collar says cholera. No, his, his collar says cholera the rat. Uh, Ratholomew. <laughs> Ratholomew. Mm-hmm. Does it greet us when we enter? Or? Uh, the tail flacks on the ground excitedly. <laughs> and it, it spins Eleven. around in a circle, and then it stands up on its back legs and has its two t- It's very pudgy. It's way larger than any rat you've ever seen before. Oh, um, Scrothor, give him some of the leg. We eat it all. And it's it's oh. just oh you eat the rat <laughs> oh no he swallows it whole I you, smack him on the back of the head because <laughs> it's pretty big <laughs> I smack him on the back of the head me yes <laughs> you want to brain the rat drop it I... <laughs> the the tail is just sticking it's, out it's, it's still pretty, wagging, still wagging. I don't know it's if you just single swallow Crap. drop it. <laughs> It rolls up into a slobbery ball and then just runs behind Felita and like hides behind her leg while also loving on the leg at the same time. Mm, Scared of Scrothor now. No. It's very scared of Scrothor. It would have been funnier if it ran right back to to Scrothor and jumped it back into (laughs) his mouth. No one has been petting it. If you know rat owners, that kind of tracks. That's fair. But yeah. So... You're in this home of a recently deceased family. Let's take a long rest and regain our spell slots. Okay. Um, as we regain our spell slots, sure. spell slots, spell slots, spell slots, yeah. I'm gonna um, <clears throat> pretty much fill in cl- um, Clancy, Clancy, mm-hmm. about what was talked about down at the forge, okay. mm-hmm. and how we're gonna all... find this rock. And uh, destroy and it. Okay. I think the best way is if uh, Scrothor flies up high to kind of have oh. a view on where it is. And then we decimate it to shit. So your idea is me, a slow tortoise person, should fight a giant bird of prey. Flying high. Oh. In the summer okay. sky. I mean, do you not want to come with us, Clancy's? I mean, I guess I kind of have to because, uh, well, I mean, I guess I don't really have I mean, to. I mean, you could be the. I, I did rework the contract that if uh, if any of us die, we don't all fail. So, uh, you know, you're welcome for that. But also, Thank yeah, I'll come with you. But first, you I fail? think yeah, with the devil, oh. right? Because I, I reworked oh, the that's deal. Right. You know, I found the deficiencies in the contract, as it were. I thought you were talking about the uh, dwarfish agreement. I'm like, Felita, you like, you like blowing people's guts out with firearms. That started. I sure don't hate it. Well, uh, I was uh, going over the town finances. Uh, I mean, I use the term liberally, but uh, either way, there seems to be a discrepancy uh, with the the gun, the local gun dispensary. Um, I think we might be able to get a sizable, maybe five finger discount there without what arousing too much uh, trouble. I like the way you're thinking. Also, if you know anybody that likes robot parts, we might be able to make that happen too. Hmm. Our robot parts magical. 
I I don't know. I don't deal in robots. Yeah, it's a robot chicken. <laughs> okay, well, we could probably work up some sort of robot chicken pox if, if that's what you're going for. Now, that's Clancy, isn't this why you went to hell the first times? No, I went to hell because, look, um, those uh, those Wyatt Oak brothers, they're, uh, they're a bunch of fucking idiots is what they are. And uh, they didn't listen to my plan, all right? Um, they, uh, I refused to do their, their stupid plan of just writing um, all the money in the ledger book. They said, they said, just write all the money, and then we'll have all the money. I was like, that's not how it works. <laughs> that's not how it works, gentlemen. You have to have the money. You can't. It's not a magic book. And they shot me right in the face. <laughs> that sounds like something you should have gone to hell for. Well, no, I went to hell for uh, for all the extortion. <laughs> And racketeering. And doing accounting. Because you wrote all the people. money in your book, right? Oh, I didn't write all the money. I just, you know. Took it. I mean, I took my share. So what you're saying and is I'm, you're doing the exact same things that sent, got you sent to hell. Which is right, what, but I'm but being that is honest what I just said. about it. Okay. I'm being honest And he's not. It. It's all in the contract. He's not rapping catch it in dog shit and selling it to people. Correct. He's not doing that. As a housing I'm, it's not like I'm I'm evil. I'm not like starting a multi-level marketing, um, you know, workout supplement uh, thing or anything. It's fine. I'm just I'm just informing people, right, of their accounting deficiencies and giving them an opportunity to rectify the situation without legal consequences. Well, do you want to go inform people right now, or would you I mean, rather wait till we get back? I mean, it's probably the middle of the night. They're probably not open. When we need exactly. weapons to fight this rock. I'm not talking about burglary. I'm talking about extortion. And you can't do extortion in the middle of the night? No. The, the when they're in their beds? Be, the person has not to Not expecting extortion? Present. Oh my gosh, is, this sounds awfully violent. I was... Oh. <laughs> You know, why don't I just go alone tomorrow? <laughs> Even the, the rat puts on brass knuckles on the front cloth. Well, why are you all <laughs> drooling? What is wrong with you? You came to me because you knew I like shooting people, and then you're going to tell me you don't want me to shoot people? I thought you could get a, a discount on a gun. Maybe what? they'll say no when we have to How take How did this go hand? terribly awry? I am a pirate. I'll help you out. I'll help you out. Yeah, let's Don't go worry. Do I'll, I'll come with you tomorrow. Don't you worry. Isn't there a dress oh written on please the account just form? Follow, please just follow my lead tomorrow. So as you guys discuss future crimes, that is what we're going to call it. So thanks for tuning in. Check us out next time. Everyone here in chat, stick around. We got a second episode coming at you right after the break. You can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, Spotify, TikTok, Reddit, and Twitch at Botch Podcast. This episode of Botch was brought to you by the Patreon producers, the OG Lone Ranger, Big Jim, The Nug, Lord Chronic, Skinner, Beemel, Shanda Panda, Disgruntled Furniture, Quiz Wisdom, Lost Limey, Scabby Goose, Zucari, and Bread2287. <laughs> You want to support the show? You can do so over at so many stupid websites. FreedomValleyHorsePace.com, DickBlood.me, DickBlood.club, CornHub.icu, SexWithWookies.com, PigRickets.com, MookMolk.com, BuyTheseViagra.com, Louisiana Pocket Gopher, singular, dot com, or our newest website, Damn you, Dennis. Dot com. <laughs> <laughs> Go to hell, Dennis. Already there. Damn you, Dennis. Or simply <laughs> patreon.com slash botch podcast, where there are probably a thousand hours of bonus material stretching back for six fucking years. <laughs> also, $3 gets you into the Discord with the wonderful misfits that is the botch community. That are the wonderful misfits. Whatever. You want to support us but can't do it financially? Head on over to Apple Podcasts and leave us a five-star review. Y'all have made Chunky depressed. Our little chunks of uh, Sicles. I'm losing weight. He wants to read a review so, so bad, badly. but it's been fucking months. So now I'm just drinking Russian vodka. And that's your fault. For breakfast. For not going over to Apple Podcasts and leaving a five-star review for Chunky. Or any star review. 
I mean, but a five star. I would rather get yeah, it. Yeah, it's like in the ocean. What are you doing? The there was a one, one star that we made fun of. That was fun. I mean, we're going to read out any <laughs> review, but I would prefer, you know, it, it helps the show, you know. Uh, they said things that weren't true. <laughs> Thank you to Gozer for our intro and outro music. More of them over at Gozer underscore music. Thank you to Emily Swan for our L art. You can find her all over the internet at a swan named Emily. Huh? We salute you, Big Jim 5. You are this episode's... Lone Ranger. Lone Most Wanted. Lone Ranger. Nice. Yeah. God damn it. Get it's fucked, like, Brad. Every time. What was it again? It used to be Lone Survivor. It's Most, right? it's most Wanted. Most it's Lone Ranger. Poster. Most Wanted. Most Lone Wanted. <laughs> <laughs> you want to send something to the studio? Okay. Do it over at P.O. Box 3178. Gettysburg, Pennsylvania, 17325. And, and help Chonky. us take a bite out of Chunk. <laughs> we'll open it up on stream. And as always... As you get ready to go with your friend to go extort in the middle of the night, whisper botched and we'll come calling. We'll see you next week, nerds. I hope we sever a finger. You can support each of us in our own little different ways. My first comic book has come out, and if you'd like to purchase it, you can head on over to www.hiveheadstudios.com, where you can even download a free sample of the book to see if it's something, you know, up your alley. Uh, you can also support me over at patreon.com slash hiveheadstudios. You can support Steve's stuff over at YouTube or TikTok or any of his other social media at he who is Steve. You can support Phil on Patreon or Twitch at Imaginary Nomad. You can support Jen by checking out her other podcasts like Horse Girls and all your podcatchers. You can also check her out on social media or Twitch at Jenna Chill, chill with one L. And you can check out Chonky every so often on Twitch at Chonky underscore Kong. Herpes is a serious <laughs> oh, You can't laugh if you don't have any air in your lungs. Ha <laughs> ha! All right, I'm bringing this in. Checkmate, liberals. <laughs> <laughs> Learn that from Andrew Tate.